Welcome back to our list. If you watched our previous video, you would know that we are celebrating Pride Month by mentioning the gorgeous and talented LGBTQIA actors and actresses who have paved the way in spreading acceptance and love for an oppressed and minority group. In this video, you want to watch Presents, Famous Out and Proud LGBT Plus Actors and Actresses in Hollywood Part 2. Jodie Foster After graduating from Yale, Foster made the transition from child star to mature actress, appearing in a series of mostly unremarkable pictures through the mid-1980s. Her next widely acclaimed role came in another intense and gritty picture when she played rape survivor Sarah Tobias in The Accused in 1988. For this performance, she won both an Academy Award and Golden Globe for Best Actress, establishing her as one of Hollywood's most esteemed serious actresses. Jodie has always been open about her sexuality and is a lesbian. Her longtime partner was Sidney Bernard with whom she has two sons, Charles Charlie Foster and Christopher Kit Foster. But the couple separated in 2008. In April 2014, Jodie married Alexandra Hedison, a photographer and actress, in a private weekend ceremony. The couple began dating in October 2013. Jim Parsons Actor Jim Parsons rose to fame as Sheldon on the popular sitcom The Big Bang Theory and has received praise for his stage work. In May 2012, Jim Parsons declared himself to the world. The Big Bang Theory actor quietly came out of the closet during an interview with The New York Times. For more than a decade, Parsons has been in a relationship with graphic designer Todd Spuak. Parsons and Spuak married on May 13, 2017, at the Rainbow Room in New York City. Jane Lynch Jane gained popularity in MD's A Medical Drama in 2002, where she had the leading role of a nurse in The Family Guy, an animated comedy where she lent her voice. The person who has donned so many homosexual characters in her career is in real life of the same sexual orientation. Laura Embry, a clinical psychologist, was her love interest whom she dated in 2009 and also got engaged to in that very year. They got married in Massachusetts on the 31st of May 2010. They were together for three years till they divorced in 2014. Maria Bello. She is best known for her role in projects such as ER, The Cooler, and A History of Violence. Born in Pennsylvania to a middle-class family, Maria wanted to become a lawyer but later decided to become an actress. Upon moving to New York after graduation, she struggled for many years working in off-Broadway productions before landing a regular role in the television series ER. It was not long before she made her debut on the big screen, she went on to appear in movies like Permanent Midnight and Coyote Ugly. Maria Bello has come out as gay and has a girlfriend. The A History of Violence actress wrote about telling her 12-year-old son Jackson that she was romantically involved with a woman he knew, Claire. She revealed her sexuality in a piece entitled Coming Out as a Modern Family in Friday's New York Times. Cynthia Nixon, most acclaimed for playing Miranda Hobbs, the career-minded and cynical lawyer in the HBO series Sex and the City, actress Cynthia Nixon is a famous theater, television, and film actress. Nixon, who is bisexual, entered into a relationship with Christine Marinoni, an education activist in 2004 and married her in 2012. The couple has one son. Holland Taylor. Following her graduation, she moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. Throughout the 1960s, the 1970s, and the 1980s, she was mostly known for her Broadway and off-Broadway productions such as The Cocktail Hour and Butley. Holland Taylor has never married and has mostly remained silent about her sexuality. She confirmed in 2015 that she was lesbian. However, she has always kept the identities of her lovers hidden. In a recent interview, she revealed her relationship with Sarah Paulson. Sarah is 31 years younger younger to her. Holland once clarified in an interview that the age gap did not matter to her. Sarah Gilbert Sarah Gilbert is a well-known American actress who has appeared in numerous films and TV series in her illustrious career. She is also the co-host as well as creator of the daytime talk show The Talk. During her teenage years, Sarah Gilbert dated her co-star Johnny Gulecki. It was around this time that she realized that she is homosexual and the two separated. She and Johnny are still good friends. Wanda Sykes, American comedian and actress best known for her role as Barbara Barron in The New Adventures of Old Christine. She is counted among the funniest women in America. Though she is a popular comedian today, she did not even think of a career in comedy during her growing up days. She publicly came out as lesbian in 2008 and married her girlfriend Alex Niedbalski. The couple has two children. She is a supporter of gay rights and same-sex marriages. She also volunteers with PETA. 
George T.K. George T.K. overcame the racial barriers of his time to launch a successful acting career. He starred as Lieutenant Hikaru Sulu during the three-year television run of Star Trek, and later reprised the role for six movies. Prominently involved with gay rights and Japanese-American groups, T.K. has become a highly popular social media presence. In 2005, George publicly announced his homosexuality to Frontiers magazine. He married his longtime partner, Brad Altman, in September 2008. Ezra Miller. He made his debut in Antonio Campos' 2008 drama film After School and proceeded to appear in the award-winning black comedy drama film Another Happy Day. Miller appeared alongside Emma Watson in the movie The Perks of Being a Wallflower, based on Stephen Chbosky's best-selling coming-of-age novel of the same title. As his popularity grew, Miller was signed for the role of Barry Allen or The Flash in the DC Extended Universe and went on to feature in a series of superhero movies based on DC Comics characters. Despite his relationships with Zoe Kravitz, photographer Lauren Nolting and model Aaron Axtell, in 2012 Ezra pronounced himself as queer, specifying that he does not incline to segregate people by their gender or sexual preferences. This position was blamed by many fans for being just a tribute to homosexuality trend, but Ezra claims that back in school he tried to have relationships with boys and suffered from humiliations caused by his different sexual orientation. Portia de Rossi. Portia Lee James de Jenner's, known professionally by her pseudonym Portia de Rossi, is a famous Australian-American model, actor, and philanthropist. She changed her name legally at the age of 15, taking the name Portia from the Shakespearean play The Merchant of Venice and adopting the Italian title de Rossi which she found to be glamorous. As far as her sexuality is concerned, Portia came out in public as a lesbian in 2005 and went on to marry television host, comedian, producer, and writer Ellen de Jenner's in 2008. Laverne Cox, American actress and LGBT advocate. She rose to prominence with her role as Sophia Bursett on the Netflix series Orange is the New Black. Cox helped bring the trans rights movement to the forefront thanks to her iconic 2014 Time magazine cover, titled The Transgender Tipping Point. I'm in Lestenberg, American actress known for her supporting role in the science fiction adventure film The Hunger Games. The film, which was directed by Gary Ross, became a huge success internationally and received multiple awards. I'm in Lestenberg is bisexual. She is currently single. Previously, she had dated Jaden Smith for around a year. Jillian Michaels, American fitness trainer, television personality, author, and entrepreneur best known for featuring in the NBC-aired American competition reality show The Biggest Loser. Jillian Michaels once mentioned in a Pride Source interview with Chris Atzaparty that she realized she was bisexual at around 18 years of age and only later in her 20s that she realized that she was gay. She was romantically associated with a woman named Heidi Rhodes. In May 2012, they adopted a two-year-old girl from Haiti, and in the same month Rhodes gave birth to a boy. In June 2018, Heidi Rhodes and Jillian Michaels announced that they had broken up. The same year, she started dating Deshanna Marie Menudo and got engaged to her in 2021. Taylor Schilling, the actress became famous for the role of Piper Chapman in the series Orange is the New Black. Thanks to the popular drama show, she has had many prestigious nominations including the Golden Globe. Similar to Piper from Orange is the New Black, the celebrity is gay. Today, she is dating the writer and musician Carrie Brownstein who is 10 years older than the actress. Ben Wishaw. Ben Wishaw is a British actor who appeared in Bond movie Skyfall and voiced the title character in Paddington. In 2008, he appeared in five episodes of Criminal Justice and starred in BBC drama The Hours with Dominic West. He also played the title role in the TV adaptation of Richard II in 2012. Ben does not keep secret his sexual orientation, the actor came out and announced he was gay. In 2012, Wisha entered a civil partnership with the Australian composer Mark Bradshaw. The couple met in 2009 when the movie Bright Star was shot. Today, the actor and composer live together in London. Ruby Rose. She started her career as a model, featuring on prestigious magazines and representing renowned fashion brands, such as Maybellin and Nike. She became a television host for MTV as the job allowed her to be herself, in contrast to her previous work as a model. She later appeared as a guest on many television shows and was cast to play the role of Stella Carlin in Orange is the New Black. Ruby Rose, who is openly gay, considers herself gender fluid, but does not mind feminine pronouns. She stated that while growing up, she used to save money for gender transition surgery, but later became comfortable with her body. 
we are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you want to watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you want to watch. Any support you provide us will help us provide you with more and better content. Okay, now back to the story. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart is a famous Hollywood actor, best known for her role as Bella Swan in the blockbuster Twilight series, which was inspired by Stephanie Mayer's novel series of the same name. Her character, although dull and dreary, went on to amass a legion of fans that was also smitten by the vampire human love saga. Contrary to her character in the film, Kristen Stewart is believed to be quite the opposite in real life. Stewart was romantically linked with her Twilight co-star Robert Pattinson since 2009. She then stated that she was an relationship with Michael Angarano. After dating several men, Stewart announced that she is bisexual. She also said that she has dated many women like French singer Soko, musician Saint Vincent, and stylist Sarah Dinkin. Matt Bomer. White collar star Matt Bomer officially came out as gay on February 2012 when he publicly thanked his partner, Simon Halls, and their three children while accepting an award. Matt Bomer first appeared on television in the year 2000 when he was cast in an episode of All My Children. Then, he was cast for the role of Ben Reed in the daytime TV soap opera Guiding Light. He appeared in the series from 2001 to 2003. After this, he was given an opportunity to play the character of Luke Johnston in the show True Calling. In 2004, Bomer appeared in North Shore. The following year, he made his debut on the big screen, playing a role in the movie Flight Plan. Ellen DeGeneres. With her own talk show, Ellen DeGeneres is one of America's most well-known comedians. Her wit won over audiences, and DeGeneres finally found success as an actress with her own primetime sitcom, the self-titled television series, Ellen. The series was originally titled These Friends of Mine, but was renamed in 1994. From that point, the show evolved from its beginnings as an ensemble effort into a showcase for DeGeneres. She has been the host of her own award-winning talk show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, since 2003, and married girlfriend Portia de Rossi in 2008. What do you think about our list? Are you part of the LGBT plus community? Or a supporter of it? Did we miss anyone that you think should have been included? If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time watchers, thank you for watching our video.